Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Uncle Norris and today I would like to welcome you, uh, all my new and existing subscribers. I want to say a very big thank you because without you, we're not going to be here. And uh, please um, share this video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you also seen this, please like what we're doing. It's going to help us also grow this channel. All right, so today I'll be talking about courses you have that pays also in the UK apart from nurses and doctors. What are, what are the health professional courses you can go into that are not doctors or nurses? I'll be right back. Stay tuned. So it is no news that um, doctors and nurses are sought after abroad. You know, almost everywhere there's shortage of doctors, there's shortage of nurses, and everybody wants to be um, a nurse today. Everybody wants to be a doctor today. But there are other professionals in the hospital that also in good money in fact these people are earning silent money and you'll be surprised there are no much um quote unquote all these um um stress doctors and nurses go through before these people are do, uh, go through to get their um, qualifications in the uk these people don't go through all those much stresses all right so for the first person the first um, on the list are pharmacy d now from this is a six years program which gives you um, doctors of nurse, uh, doctor of pharmacy, and with this um, you can practice as a pharmacy in the UK or in anywhere in Europe, even Australia. That I used to talk about. Now, this farm D is a, is is a pro, is a program that is um, very sought after. Pharmacies are sought after, sought after in the UK, and if you can study this program, be it in your home country and register in the UK, or be it in the UK you are sure of a good life all right the next people i would like to talk about are the occupational therapists in fact occupational therapy is now a teen abroad whether you study it in nigeria ghana anywhere um, in africa or, or asia as long as you find ways and register with uh, the professional body in the country you are thinking about whether it's in austria be it in the uk be it in and Germany, as long as you can register with the board, the, the regulatory board, you are good to go. Now, these people are sought after, sought after in the in abroad, uh, um, overseas, in Europe or America, because occupational therapy is something that have come to stay now. Most people, the mental health facilities, in the, in the learning disabilities, just in almost everywhere in the hospital, occupational therapists are not being joked with. In fact, they are being respected. There is no word round that you don't involve occupational therapists. So these guys are sought after. Think about it. Look into this profession if you have interest. Now, the next people I'm talking about are the speech and language therapists. Now, this group of people work with people, um, children or individuals with learning dis uh, speech, speech difficulties or speech disabilities. And these uh, individuals help them to... Um, Give them therapies on how to speak and how to regain their speech now you may be surprised to know that speech therapists are sought after in europe now if you can find your way any country of your choice look at how the board how you can register with the board and how you can practice in those countries like in the uk go good it go to the board and see how you can register with this body and i bet you you will not regret it because there are vacancies there are positions that you can apply for and before you know voila you're out of your country and the good life is yours. Another in the, uh, group of professionals are the dental scientists. In fact, the thing about dentitions, um, the cosmetics, people want to look, make their teeth to look so white, people want to make sure their gums are healthy, has made these dental scientists um, something that are uh, that something that is very important in in, in in the foreign countries or overseas or abroad or Europe or America, whatever you want to call it. Now, this group of people work hand in hand with the doctors and they make sure that um, your teeth are healthy. The dental scientists, they, they, they look at how to make you um, prosthesis and things like that to make your mouth and your, your teeth and your gum healthy. Now, these people are also sort of that uh, abroad and i don't even know if they study i know they are dental they are dental nurses but i don't know if they have dental science as a particular course in nigeria or anywhere in africa but if you are interested you can look it up and look for universities that offer this course and um, you can go for it in fact i know a couple of friends who are currently in the uk practicing as radiographers and it's one process that is not that it didn't that is not as hazard 
hassle is hassle free like doctors and nurses because you don't need to write um, all these English language exams and all those things. I'll make a separate video on how you can register or how you can practice as a radiographer abroad in the UK. Now, another people I would like to talk about are the physiotherapists. Now, physiotherapy, you can work in science, in sports science, you can work in um, rehabilitation centers, you can work in normal hospitals, you can work almost everywhere in the health sector as a physiotherapist. And these people are being paid well. They are silently making money. They're not making noise like doctors and nurses are making noise. These people are making good money. Good, good money. So if you're a physiotherapist um, and you are seeking for ways to travel abroad, just look at Austria, don't look at the UK, look at Poland, look at all these countries, Germany, look at US, look at Australia. These people, these places are in need of your services. And you know how it's going to be register with the board because these are controlled professions or regulated professionals so you need to register with the board of, of physiotherapy in the country where you want to practice for you to be able to practice in that country so physiotherapy pays very well so if you are thinking of some area in and the health sector where you want to practice or where you want to um, study you can look into physiotherapy it must not be medicine it must not be nursing you can look into physiotherapy you can look into radiography you can look into um, speech and language therapy these places are good um, places where you can earn good money and even live good life abroad all right so the last but not the least i like i put them last not because they are the least are the dietitians now this world we know in everything is diet everybody is dieting everybody is ghetto if you're not ghetto you are doing exercise and one of the way, ways to lose weight is by dieting right so dietitians whether you're a children dietitian my friend is a child dietitian or children dietitian um, you can also be adult dietitian you cannot be a dietitian generally but if you're a dietitian um, Europe calls for you America calls for you uh, Australia calls for you you can look at how you can register with um, the board if it's a country if it's a, if it is a country where this um, profession is regulated you can also call because dietitians are very very vital in the life of every patient that that is very very vital in the life of any patient we are taking care of because we have to look at their nutritional status you want to know what they need what they lack will you, will you complement it with food or will you complement it with um external um source but look by and large dietitians are very very important in every health facility in the world so if you're a dietitian don't give up you're also needed abroad all right so that's all from me today and i want to thank you for staying tuned please please and please like this video and also subscribe you can give us a thumb up subscribe also and also share it to as much people because many people are just lost trying to study medicine or nursing and we know everybody cannot be a nurse everybody cannot be a doctor but you can look at other areas where you can explore to get the best out of yourself and out of your your time because time they say is money peace out